What's up YouTube? It's VT from Mercenary Corruption as you can see from the table here. I've got a lot less junk up here. For like two or three things but it's not as cramped and cluttered looking like it was. And so I just thought it would be the perfect opportunity to do the things that I've been wanting to do. One of which is review and unbox this thing. <clears throat> Unlike the C64, I'm going into this very blindly. And well, let's just take a look at the Sega Genesis Mini. Look at the packaging here. Join the 16-bit revolution. Yep, this was during that time when, well, the original. During a time when Nintendo and Sega were big rivals. Uh, yeah, let's say forget that the arcade market existed. And let's say how many on the front that it says. I can get this thing to focus. Includes 40 legendary games plus two bonus titles. In other words, 42 games. <clears throat> on the back here, we have some of the titles listed. I don't think actually all of the titles thing on a flash but that's gonna help with the lighting Let's see 40 classic games yeah same pretty much same information um, the one I find in the ones I find interesting are like the Tetris and uh, another one I saw when I bought this was Mega Man which I think was a European only release so that's actually getting localized with this so I'm really looking forward to seeing how that looks Oh yeah, we got Sonic on there. And all that. Let's see what the top portion has. We got Sonic again. He was he's the staple mascot, but he was not the first. Alex Cl uh, Alex Kidd claims that title. Looks like it comes with two controllers. Same information, I think, on each side. Actually, no. One thing I find interesting, it doesn't show a hand holding it, much like the uh, the PlayStation one and the two other ones I'll be reviewing later. But yeah, another thing I find interesting is the Castle of Illusion, which is a Disney thing. Like I think it's amazing that Disney gave them the the go ahead to put that on here. Hate to say it, but it kind of puts that PlayStation One to same the shame because of all the stuff that you missed out on putting on the PlayStation Mini. I mean, it's good, but they that so many missed opportunities, especially with how big the RPG thing was. But this one seems to show some kind of promise. Well, that's the outside packaging. Let's see what's on the inside. Alright, I got the box open because, yeah, that would have been complicated holding the camera and doing this. I like that I can open this box without having, like, a ton of tape destroying the packaging. It's pretty much sealed correctly. Here's the contents in the box. We have the USB power adapter inside of that, which we will get into these here in a minute. And it's pretty much your normal stuff. We got... I'm gonna guess that's the unit itself. To like it's in that cardboard thing. What else we have here? Yeah, I'll take a good look at that. We got the actual plug for it, the or the USB cable. Um, <clears throat> the instruction manual, which we'll go through. <clears throat> you got excuse me. I got a dry throat today. I picked the best time to do reviews. What is this? Oh, they gave you, they actually gave me HDMI cables. Hmm. It's pretty cool. You know, a couple of them, they don't really include, like, either the power adapter or the HDMI cable. I mean, they just kind of say, oh, yeah, just provide that for yourself. And this one has pretty much everything. <coughs> Gotta hate my voice right now. Got something hanging off the bottom here. 
Oh, that's actually part of the. I'm gonna put the box to the side here. We're gonna take a look at this thing that. Oh, what is this? What? What is this? Oh, these are the controllers. Okay, we'll take a look at those in a second. Alright, so here's the instruction manual. Love how it just has this vintage toy style. Like you can just tell it's very nice based off of like a 90s thing. Instructions in every language you can think of. Now this is the complicated part getting this thing out. Holding the camera. Oop. Not jerking around. I apologize for that. But yeah, here it is. It even feels like the telephone number for support HDMI because yeah I am not reading all of that it's just basically copyright stuff and we'll take a look and see how to set this thing up AC adapter USB included yeah it's pretty much got everything it needs it's got control ports control pads <coughs> Same thing, only in another language. Same thing in another language. And it looks like some legal stuff for each country. I think it's mostly uh, United States and Canada. Alright. Which is awesome. And a QR code. So, like for their portal site, I guess. Alright, so I'm going to put that back in the box. <clears throat> I guess I should put it back in the packaging. Uh, yep. This is going to be difficult, so I'm just going to wait until a minute. <clears throat> I'm say, let's take a look at one of the controllers first. Yep, we have some tape. It is USB. Which funny thing about the original Sega Genesis is that it had the same ports as the Atari 2600 and most home computers and stuff at the time they used that. So Sega kind of went with that. I don't know why. I guess Nintendo won their own thing. <coughs> That's why they did something different. I like this. It's got the red buttons. It fills and has the size of an original Genesis. And I may later do a comparison to the At Games Genesis as opposed to like this mini version, which is basically from what I understand it's not really emulated, but it's like the actual hardware is in it. And I'm sure the sound quality is a lot better too, but like I said, I'll do a video on that later. These are nice. I'm going to assume that both of them look the same. Let's get this tape and stuff off of it. <clears throat> Feels very nice too. Feels very much like the, like the original Genesis controllers did. Get a good focus on that logo. Come on, there you go. The buttons feel really nice. It was funny, it's like a 16-bit era thing and it didn't have shoulder pads. We were not quite there yet when this was made, which I think the first version of the Genesis or Mega Drive, wherever you're from, was in 89. But something about that don't sound right, I don't know. But, alright. Of course we all know what cable HDMI cords and stuff look like. Let's look at the unit, let's look at the big boy himself. Or the little boy. Alright, let's check if this box open. Totally ruining everything. Alright, so. Then the packaging of the packaging. Go down here real quick. You guys get to see the fabric of my pajama pants. Lucky you guys. <laughs> Alright, here we go. 
Wow. It looks like a total genesis. No, there is no external thing. Does it move around or is it just literally just a cosmetic to be added to? Oh my gosh. What, what, what would you slide in here? It actually slides up. Open and close. It's like a, a volume control on this thing? What? What? What is this thing? Power on off. On off power. Wait a minute, where's the power source thing? Oh. H Got it right on the light there. HDMI port, the micro USB PC adapter. It's got some kind of volume control. Which I think the original had. It has a reset button. And it has the on off switch. I can't get over that little tiny cartridge slot. That is amazing. Wow. Alright, so what do we got on here? 16 bit. Power on and off, it's got a light on there, high definition graphics, which is funny because it's quite literally going to be HD. Um, nothing really much on the side except for the vents, little vents which don't, I don't think they serve a real purpose, I can't tell. I like the real one had them on the bottom. We have all the Legal information, your little Sega Genesis thing, Sega of America, Oak Canyon, sweet Sega Genesis, or Genesis Mini Sega. it's their website, and you can actually, through the camera, you can see some of the logic board. Alright, <clears throat> there's only one left, one thing left to do, and that is to check this bad boy out. Alright, let me hook things up, and... Yeah, one thing I forgot to mention is that on the controller, where the USB port is, is uh, the Sega logo. I didn't even notice that earlier. I don't know how well it's going to show up on here. Yeah, it's showing up alright. But yeah, I just thought that was kind of fascinating as the other systems didn't really put much into the USB ports. So that's a plus for this. Alright. I'm going to check this thing out see how well it performs. Maybe it won't be too loud. Maybe lighting won't be an issue. Let me just adjust this a little bit. Get a nice little strobe light effect going on there for a minute. Yeah, Catchy. Alright, what do we got on here? I had to change the language control I tested to make sure it was alright earlier, so that's all you guys missed. Got a Street Fighter on here. Looks like Capcom has this name on there. The controls are so smooth on there. So we're, we're testing the Sega Genesis, so we got a trial with the sign. Might even tell you about the game. In gameplay, hold start to save, load or return, and Jeez, turn this thing down. Sega Genesis Mini, now good at waking your neighbors. Alright. Well, all these have all these save state things. Alright. Look at These little backdrops, that's interesting. Have all the games have that. We ain't gonna spend a lot of time with this. Alright. Ooh. Controls for this. Feels nice. The sound actually sounds accurate. As opposed to like some other Genesis classic remix thing. They fuck up the whole... They, they fuck up the entire like soundtrack and stuff, sound effects, music, and I, like I said, I'll do a video on that at game soon. 
The only upside to the hat game is when it has a cartridge slot where you can put original cartridges in. And even then, I don't know if it messes up the audio on that or not. So. seen Tetris on Genesis before. Is it all the same backdrops? Can you like change that? Can you like change the backdrops? Let me show you something out here. Let me return to the main menu and figure that out. Screen wallpaper settings. Set the plain black. Got that interesting. Kind of like this because <clears throat> legal notice is stab. Alright, let's check out Tetris. with this so far. Alright. Whoa, was that an iguana? What music does it have? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's Tetris like I remember it. Clearly. Terrible at Tetris, just let you guys know. There we go. Uh, oh, there's a gap. <laughs> I fucked it up already. If I can just get one taken care of, I'll be good. Why do they keep giving me these same shapes? Eventually, I have to get one. Fuck! Music speeding up now. I can at least get this one and be happy. There we go. <laughs> Check out Mega Man. That's the one I've been like clamoring for since I heard the release of it on here. Gotta love it old Capcom sound. 
be mildly disappointed if Street Fighter don't have that. Nice mouth. Tough to like. And the Wily Wars. So is this basically just like... Oh, it's the Mega Man Trilogy. Okay. It's funny because recently I just bought the Legacy Collection 1, 2, 1 and 2, which has the original um, original 10 games and I've got 11 now. This is like an original like trilogy compilation. It's got a number one. Oh, you gotta love that music. How they change the save yet? Oh my god. Okay, I'm not a crazy fan of how this is formatted. Less of a shit this game gave by giving you health. <clears throat> you had to like be on your fucking feet. I'll play till I die. Yes. It's not gonna be far from me. God, I just need these two buttons to switch. I'll be fine. Just keep firing at it until. No, it starts you back from the very fucking beginning. What the hell? I just 
peeked at the Genesis without fix and respawning enemy things. They could have like done so much more. complain about this, otherwise visually it looks good. Kinda has this weird like delay thing like Castlevania has. They have the things that took a hundred years. jump cut, I just decided to stop filming all of a sudden, run through my, I'll play this until I get a game over, I don't know why it decided to just stop filming all of a sudden, there it is. Why do these things take so many hits to die? Instant death on that, so gotta love that. No one even gives a shit right now.
I think this is the uh, cut man. Sped up with the music and all that. Barely getting a hit on it. 